Hey, Teresa G here in my cluttered kitchen. I thought I'd come in today to um, show you a one pot pasta in the instant pot with um, sausages instead of meatballs. We had meatballs last night, so I thought I would do sausages instead. I have some chicken sausages that I delved into my freezer for, and uh, we're going to make it with that. Okay? And uh, it shouldn't take more than 30 minutes for the whole process, and we'll have dinner on the table. So let's get cooking. Let's saute. It's going to come on. It's going to say hot in a couple of minutes. And then I will start adding the ingredients and start cooking. I'm going to add some oil. About a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and we're gonna get it to do all over the pot. Try to get it. All right, here we go. It's starting to say hot. the oven. Uh -huh. It's saying hot. Okay. So now I'm going to add my sausages. I've got four chicken sausages. I've got it on the hot setting. And we're going to brown off these chicken sausages. They also have some cheese and spinach in them. I think I got these wonderful sausages at um, either Renninger's in Kutztown or at uh, the Dutch Market in Flemington. And these wonderful sausages at the butcher there. Mm -hmm. I don't doubt that they're brown at all yet. Nope. If they still see, if they start to stick, they're not ready yet. It's only been a minute, so I don't expect them to be ready. All right, so keep on cooking. I'm going to brown them on both sides. When it releases, I'll turn it over, brown it on the other side, remove them, cut them up, stick them back in, pop them with everything, press the buttons, lock the lid, boom. And we get dinner. edible pieces, smaller pieces. I will deglaze with a little bit of wine. Put everything back in, lock the lid, set it, and walk away. Okay. Okay, there's the wine. I'm gonna deglaze. Okay. I'm putting the putting it up, putting it back in. I've never done it like this before. I usually do meatballs. But 
because we had meatballs last night. Uh, the chicken is mostly cooked. I mean, the sausage is mainly cooked, mostly cooked. It's juicy inside. I just want to make pieces that we can eat without having to cut into it when we... Okay, here we go. That's in. Oh, let me just move it around a little bit. Alright. Now I'm going to add a can of tomato puree. A can of diced tomatoes with the liquid. Half a cup of water. And a 12 ounce box. box of penne and the great thing about pressure cookers is that even if you don't cover the food 100% because of the pressure it will cook all the way through which is amazing okay I'm now I'm going to press off I'm going to lock the lid in I'm going to put the vent on seal. I'm going to press manual. And this pasta only needs three minutes. And now we will wait for it to come up. The pin will pop up. It'll cook. It'll start counting down. And uh, then it will be done. It'll beep. And it'll count up for ten minutes. And then I will open it up. Because Last time I did a quick release, we had starch everywhere. I learned my lesson. It's going. No, it's just it's Should do it any second. alone for a few minutes and we let the machine depressurize on its own and then I will do a quick release by then there won't be uh, foamy starch spritzing out doesn't look that good when it's green pasta but... all right so uh... all right so there you go nice size serving right? then Boom, 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 boom. Shower it. All right, and I want to put a little. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Now you. All right. So. So there you go. A one-pot pasta, in less than thirty minutes, with really no cleanup whatsoever. That's how I roll in my cluttered kitchen. Um, if you liked what you saw, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be making more one-pot meals soon. See you soon. Bye.